This is no ordinary mystery. There's a crime playing out on the grandest stage imaginable, space itself. Galaxies are behaving badly, stars are spinning out of line, and something, something is warping the fabric of reality. Welcome to the crime scene of the universe. It all began in the 1930s. Astronomer Fritz Zwicky was analyzing the Coma Cluster, a massive group of galaxies, but something was off. The galaxies were moving way too fast to be held together by the visible matter alone. By all accounts, they should have scattered like marbles across a cosmic desk. But they didn't. Something was holding them back. He called it Dunkel Materia, dark matter. Why? Well, the coma cluster is a very dense part of the universe. With over 1,000 galaxies, that's 1,000 Milky Ways are our galaxies, and they've been around for 8 billion years. So, after all this time, you would expect them to either be a victim of gravity and merge together, or fly apart because gravity was very weak and could not keep them together. Decades passed. Scientists, detectives with better tools, dug deeper into the mystery. They looked at spiral galaxies and found another clue. Stars on the outer edges were moving as fast as those near the center, some even faster. That's not normal. On any wheel, a dot further from the center moves faster than one with a shorter radius. Planets move differently because they're not connected, and time for them to circle the sun is different. Mars takes 687 Earth days. For Saturn, it's 19 Earth years. The speed of the planets are different and they move slower the further they are from the Sun. Here's Earth, Mars, and Saturn showing speed decreasing as we move further from the Sun, from left to right. For spiral galaxies, it should be similar. Stars on the outer edges should move slower than those near the center. Based on the mass of all the visible matter, those stars should slow down, but they don't. They're moving faster than those near the center. There's just not enough stars in the outer regions of spiral galaxies to cause the rotational velocities. How much is missing? A lot. Based on the velocity, there should be six times more mass than we see. Where is it? It's as if they're riding on invisible rails of gravity. Something is there, we just can't see it. It's dark. That's why we call this mystery Dark Matter. Hey, if you're enjoying this cosmic mystery, give the video a like, subscribe down there, and select the all notifications by clicking on the bell so you don't miss any other mind-blowing science stuff. Okay, back to the mystery. Let's round up the possible suspects. Could it be black holes? Nope, not enough of them. Neutrinos, too fast. Rogue planets? Too few. Modified gravity? Did Einstein get it wrong? Maybe, but it couldn't explain all the observations. Each theory hits a dead end. But there's one suspect we keep coming back to. A type of matter that doesn't emit or absorb light. It doesn't interact with regular atoms, but it does have mass. Enough to bend the very structure of space-time dark matter. Here's the thing, we can't see dark matter, but we can see its effects. It bends light from distant galaxies like a funhouse mirror at a cosmic carnival. Abel 1689 is a galaxy cluster in the constellation Virgo over 2.3 billion light years away. That's like really far. It's a massive galaxy cluster and acts as a gravitational lens so we can figure out where the dark matter is hiding. But it was in the bullet cluster that gave us the smoking gun. Two galaxy clusters collided and gave us clues about what's inside. Let's reconstruct the scene of the crime. Each cluster, each with billions of stars, but that's not the focus here. The stars were mostly unaffected by the collision missing each other. The red-hot gas in the galaxy, seen in x-rays, the ordinary matter, now that was interesting. 
and the blue dark matter calculated by gravitational lensing that surrounds the galaxies? Very interesting. When the clusters crash, the ordinary matter, the red gas and dust affected by gravity, slowed down and stretched. But the blue dark matter just kept going. Separated without distortion, the invisible thief had left its fingerprints. And now you can see why it's called the bully cluster. Despite the mountain of evidence, we still don't know what dark matter really is. Is it a particle, a new force, something we haven't even imagined yet? Scientists are building elaborate traps underground, hoping to catch a glimpse of dark matter. While ordinary matter is made up of atoms, dark matter is thought to consist of exotic particles, not yet identified. Candidates include weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, and axions. WIMPs are hypothetical particles that would be completely different from the type of matter we know, and would only interact with regular matter through gravity and the weak nuclear force, which would explain why they are largely invisible in space. If WIMPs exist, mathematical modeling shows there must be about five times more of these than normal matter, which coincides with the abundance of dark matter that we observe in the universe. This means we should be able to detect them through their collisions as this would cause the charged particles on Earth to recoil, producing light that we can observe in experiments. Axions are low-mass, slow-moving particles that don't have a charge and interact weakly with other matter, so they're hard to detect. Only these special axions would explain dark matter, lighter or heavier, and we'd see them. If axions do exist, they could decay into a pair of light particles which means we could detect them by looking for these pairs. The Axion Dark Matter experiment is searching for axions by trying to detect these pairs of light particles. But the suspect remains elusive, silent, invisible, patient. Despite numerous experiments, these particles have yet to be detected, leaving the true nature of dark matter an open question. Stars are organized into galaxies, which in turn form galaxy groups, galaxy clusters, superclusters, and filaments, which are separated by immense voids created by a vast foam-like space, the cosmic web. These filaments act as highways for galaxy information, guiding the distribution of matter in the universe. So far, these filaments seem to be the best explanation of where the dark matter is hiding and how it's connected to the regular visible matter. The case of dark matter is still open. Clues are everywhere, and the hunt continues. One day, we may finally shine a light on the universe's darkest secret. In the meantime, want to learn about black holes? Click here, and we'll see you next time.